Hvala, brad Antoni. Evo, guess what? In a couple of days, I mean, literally in a couple of, well, three days. Oh, I can't do the math. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, as they say, ascend to eldership. Mm. That's right. That's right. But, 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 but you know, before I get into that, you know, I told you I traveled in the, traveled a bit in the world. You know, one place in Central America, a place called Belize. Now, when I was in uh, Belize, it is a place uh, right across called Livingston, Guatemala, which is right across from uh, from uh, basically uh, Puerto Barrios. Uh, well, don't get it say Livingston is like a peninsula, you know. And um, the old guys there, you know, they have the thing called bitters. You know, they got their little flasks. See, <laughs> yes. And so, you know, when the elders, you know, the bitters, you know, they take the thing, you know what I mean, like that, and put this right here. And then, you know, they take a <laughs> swig or two. Um, so, I figure, I figure since I'm gonna be an elder soon, hmm. then I have to start practicing, you know? <laughs> so, Well, anyway, <laughs> look, the thing is this, mm. let me tell you what elders thing means to me, you know. See, there's this thing called the, uh, called the, uh, uh, Rosicrucian, uh, uh, life cycle, you know, it's, uh, it's mm. one of those secret orders back then, you know, they had a lot of books and, you know, they, well, I don't get into it, you look it up or something like that. But this thing, what they say is like uh, uh, things happen in nine, or life cycles happen in nine year uh, uh, periods, like from, from zero or minus, you know, when you're in the womb to nine years old is your, is your physical growth, and then nine to like uh, 18 is your, is your like mental growth, and 18 to 27 is your sexual growth, and 27 to, uh, to like 36 is your, is your spiritual growth. You see, no, no, these things don't mean that it's like, stomach's kind of growling there. Uh, these things don't really mean that, you know, it means you can do stuff, but this is an optimum time for you to do stuff kind of things, you know? And then it repeats again. So if you come 36 to 45, it's like, it becomes your, your physical again. You know, there's a lot of bodybuilders getting to think because they're in their physical cycle again, you know? And then from like 45 to 54 is your, is your mental, you know? And then from like, you know, 54 to like 63, like it's just second sexual thing, which explains why you have a lot of these guys that look like the old guys, you know what I mean? You know, they get rid of their wives and then they go to the trophy bar like they say whatever, but I don't get it to Then, so, so, so now 64 to like, you know, you know it's, that's, that's the last, that's the, spirit, the second spiritual thing. And then it goes, repeats again, you know? Now you see the whole thing is though, so that's one thing, but you see, I have, uh, I have like a lot of uh, uh, so-called, well, a lot of, not so-called, you know, African-Americans, you know, that went through the Middle Passage, you know, and they experienced the whole slave thing, you know, the slave master. So I got some, like, Caucasian genes, and, you know, some, you know, northern, whatever you call it, the European genes in me. And of course, I got some African genes in me. But see, on, on, on my mama's side, you know, on the maternal side, I'm supposed to have some, some American Indian in me, right? Now, here's the thing. This is very interesting. I know, I, I found out someplace. Now, don't ask me where, because I can't particularly remember. And don't be like my best friend, you know, who was a lawyer. And every time I say something, he says, well, where do you get that from? I don't, I don't remember, you know. Anyway, there's this thing that says, like, uh, 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 at 25 years old, a, a, a girl becomes a woman, you see? So 25 girl becomes a woman, which is kind of interesting because there's another thing that says that the album age for a woman to have a baby is between 25 and 29. I won't get that. Actually, my mom had me when she was 25. Look, I don't get that. Look. But check this. The optimum, from that optimum, the, 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 a man, you know, a boy or whatever, doesn't become a man in this American Indian nation until they're 52 years old. Hmm. Now, that makes a lot of sense to me. I don't make a lot of sense to nobody else, but it makes a lot of sense to me because stuff happened to me, you know, when I was 52. I mean, I, just, you know, I, was, I was born again in the sea because I, you know, I can't speak. I was paralyzed and I came out of it and blah, blah, blah. But the thing is, now I'm thinking, I'm thinking, okay, this happened to me when I'm 52. Then I say, this means I'm a, 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 according to, you know, some American Indian nation, I'm like a man, right? But what I am actually is a baby elder. You see? And then I, I had like 12 years. Now, this is what I did, you know. Now, I know some people say, well, you can't be making up rituals. Yes, I can't make up anything I want, you know? Anyway, so 
for I think that you be, you become a baby elder when you're 52, mm -hmm. and then you go like 12 years. So when you're 64, you become a full-fledged elder. Huh. You see, so, so you get that time between 52 and 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 at 64, you know, you can keep on cursing and, you know, you can act stupid and stuff like, well, no, you don't. And you, you're supposed to sort of straighten up your acting and sort of prepare yourself for eldership, you know? So I'm, 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 I'm you know, in, in a few days, I'm going to be a full-fledged, you know, elder. You know, I got to wear, you know, Swazi, Mr. Swazi, you know, Swazi and that shirts, you know, things like that. But, uh, now, I'm, but, um, now, I'm, look, uh, I'll be right back, brother. Hi, <laughs> oh, just uh, brother Billy. Uh, I don't know. I think this elder stuff is gonna uh, work on it a little, a little bit, you know. But uh, man, you know, I didn't know it was gonna be so rough being an elder. I mean, you'd figure you, you know, you get some warning or something like that. I'm dropping. It. Thing like that, but uh, you know, I guess stranger things have happened. But uh, I'm gonna see it through. But uh, what was I saying? So look, all I'm saying is this: uh, you know, we we all got to uh, grow up and and uh, and be responsible. You know, and I'm just finding that a lot of a lot of folks, you know, they go through these phases in life and they just refuse to be responsible, or they, or as we say, they start acting. Like, like they, they stop acting like they age, and they start acting like their shoe size. That's what we say in, the, in, the, in, the, in black America. Mm -hmm. You know, which don't make no sense. Now here's the thing. Here's what I'm really getting at here. Now, you see, when you're old and responsible, then you. I'm not saying you're supposed to set an example, you know, but you, well, you're supposed to set an example. So we talked about this a little bit before. We got all these folks running out here, you know, acting the fool. You know, they they they're supposed to be adults and, and leading an example. And what they do, they they throw they, they throw their folks into some uh, other bodies in somebody else's arms, you know, some other else's responsibility. And they're taking the responsibility. I'm not saying that you know everybody has to take responsibility. I'm just trying to say that if you want a good society, you want to be as a Rosicrucian say if you want to be a good citizen, you got to do good things. You see, it's, it's not a rocket science thing, like I like to say. It's just just the way it is. So if 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 you want to to, to have your children or not to choose your, to, to the village, you know, to be good, then the, the way it is, then you know you got to you got to do good things. Now you got to, like reading. You got to read if you don't even want to read. You can't be drinking our old man. You know, you can take a little sip every now and then, but he's not supposed to be drinking the whole thing of, of brandy. And, you know, here's the thing, here's the thing, here's the thing. Now, you know, we're in closer culture. And what happens in closer culture? You have the initiation schools. Now, it used to be, you can make, you know, you're supposed to brew, you know, the homemade, you know, the, the, mm. the beer and whatnot. What they do now, oh, they forget about that, you know what I mean? They, they get the beer out of the bottle. You know, in fact, they get the beer and the, and the, uh, um, and the brandy and they mixing it up and, and the kids, you know, they initiating the first thing they learn. It's like, hey, we, we supposed to be drinking, you know? That's not what you're supposed to be doing. You're supposed to be doing something to, to advance the village. Advance, if you advance the village, you advance the clan, you know what I mean? You advance the clan, you, you advance the nation. You advance the nation, you advance the continent. You advance the continent, you advance the world. This is what we're trying to get at right now because what's happening in the world right now, we, the, the, what's happening in the world right now is that we losing our humanity. We talked about this before, losing humanity. And Africa, as, 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 as Rabbi Sabuque was saying, it's, it's like Africa and humanity is the same thing. So if we're going to be in Africa, we got to be humane. We're not talking about anybody else. In fact, Africa's supposed to be setting an example. The problem now, of course, is that you got people coming back to Africa after being out there in inhumanity and bringing that inhumanity to Africa, just like the colonists brought the inhumanity to Africa, you see? So we got a lot of work to do. I mean, as elders, as elders, well, I'm talking about for, for myself now, I got a lot of work to do because I got to make sure that I'm going to be the example and, 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 and make sure I'm, I'm more humane and, and do human things. And, 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 and if somebody's coming here being inhuman, I got to call them out. Because that's what elders do. You can't be arguing with an elder. Elders say something, you got to say, well, you can mumble and whatever, but you know, you see what I'm saying? Anyway, then, I mean, I, you know, I mean, as an audio dramatist, 
and I can really go crazy, you know, because audio drama, we just do everything, you know. So I'm, you know, I'm just warning people because in a few days, I'm going to enter the eldership and, and, and have an elder audio dramatist. Ooh, that's going to be rough. That's going to be rough. I'm telling you right now, elder audio dramatist, mm, 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 mm. I wouldn't want to be somebody else. Anyway, this this is one of those dispatches from the arts director emeritus. Uh, that would be me, T, for the Pattersons taking the train to Tibet. Let, let you know what I only suspect. I don't know about this. But...